Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, this is The World Away. We've now got issue 17, which is stages 53 to 56 of the IXO Collections release of Build the Peugeot 1.9205 GTI. That's a mouthful, isn't it? Um, now, if you remember last time, we were working on the internals. We don't actually need the car, and that's still up on the shelf up there. Uh, but what we did do, and I'm going to show you on the uh, uh, main camera here, is we did this. Now, if you saw the thumbnail before I changed it, I thought this was the back of the seat. How stupid am I? That's the... Uh, that's the base of the seat there. I blame uh, my brain. My brain does stupid things. Uh, but today's stage, we're going to be all about the seats. The whole thing is going to have seats installed, and that's what we're going to be doing today. Now, if you want to get this for yourself, I'll put a link down at the bottom here to the IXO Collections website. You can get this all the way from issue one. You can build up the Peugeot with me. Also on the IXO Collections website, you'll see the Porsche, which is one of my boxes down here at the moment, where I think we're on box three, and I've got box four of that coming next week for you to see as well. But without further ado, let's get cracking. So in stage 53, we're going to be working on the uh, backrest for the seat that we just created. So I'm going to get all of these parts out. And quite simply, all we're going to do is take the backrest that we see here. And just like we did in the uh, last stage, we're going to be just putting this foam just in the center there to provide some cushioning for the backrest. That's going to be held in place by this back plate, which is just going to go over the top like that. Now we're going to be putting the headrest in and that's consisted of two sections, which is this rubbery section here and a hard plastic backing. So we're going to push that together. So it's now one piece. And then that is going to go down the slot that we can see at the top there, just like this. And it's going to come out the other side there. And it's going to be held into this plastic plate here with CP screws. Now I've got them here. So I'll put the first one in, make that nice and tight. And there's the second one. Now we're going to be putting the back section on. And again, making sure that the rubbery sections are just on top of this plastic. We're going to be putting that on top of that there to sandwich everything together. And then once again, that's going to be held in with CP screws. It's going to take six this time. So let's get these in. And there you go. When that's in, it should look just like that. All we're going to do now is just hide those screw holes. They've gave us some little stickers just to put over the top there. So we don't see any of those. There you go. That's a clever little thing, isn't it? Just hiding that there. But there we go. That's that seat complete. And that's all there is to do in that stage. Now in stage 54, we're going to be doing the seat adjuster, which is a testament to how uh, detailed this actually is. So the first thing we need is the uh, rod that's going to go through the back and the wheel adjuster. Now this can only go in one way, just like that it fits on the end. And that's going to be held in with one of the flanged EP screws here. So it's just going to go into the end like this. And then make that tight. Then the fun bit is we get to marry up the chairs now. So we're going to have the back section of the chair fitting into that section just like that. And then the section we've just made here is going to go through the hole. So it's going to hold both of these chairs together. Make sure it comes out the other side just like that there. And then on the other side, once again, we're going to be putting one of these little adjusters on like that. And once again, held in with one of the flanged EP screws. And there we go. That chair is looking pretty amazing at the moment, but we're not finished with the detail there at the moment because we're going to be putting the side base panel on there. That's going to go onto this section just like that. Once again, held in with EP screws. I can't believe how much detail there is just for one chair and it's already taken like four four stages and we're still not finished 
Here's number two. And there we go, that's the side panel in. The chair is able to move up and down, as you can see, which I think is brilliant. Now, into that side panel, you see we've got a little hole down there. We've got the seat adjustment handle, which is just going to go into the hole here. And that's just a push in. So it looks like that. <laughs> I can't help laughing at how detailed this is. Turn it upside down and we've got the base plate now to put in. This is what the base plate looks like. And we want it to be this way round. So that's going to go in just like that there. And that's going to be held in with AP screws. So I've got them here. Here's the first one. I'm going to take four of these. One. Number two. Number three. And finally, number four. So that's the base on. Now while the base is on, we have got the adjuster, which adjusts obviously the forward and backward position of the seat. That's just gonna go onto these two holes here, and it faces this way round. And again, it's just a push to fit. So that's one side, and that's the other side. And then the last thing to go on are the mounting points to mount this to the floor, which look like that. They're gonna actually go on this way with the longer end though pointing towards the back of the seat. So they're gonna be going on like this, which will enable it to move like that. And obviously to hold that in, once again, we're gonna use EP screws. You know, when you, want, when you put these in, obviously make sure that they're not too tight because you do want movement in there but you don't want it too loose, so it just falls around, but I think that's probably about perfect in there. Do the same on the other side. So that one's in, and as you can see, they both work fine. And now the fun bit, we get to mount this into the vehicle. So with the mounting points that we've got on the bottom, they're gonna go on the mounting points here, so we're just gonna line them up like this, turn it over, and they're gonna be held in on the other side with four AP screws. So the first one is just into the center console here, and that's gonna hold the chair in place. I'll do the exact opposite, which is just into the channel in the middle here. And then we do exactly the same thing on opposite sides. So when that chair's in, it's gonna look like that. And as you can see, it goes backwards and forwards, but the chair also slides backwards and forwards as well. But that's all there is to do in that stage. So stage 55, we're working on the other seat now. Exactly like we did at the end of the last pack. So quite simply, what we're gonna do is take the sponge and make sure that it goes underneath these tabs here. Then we're gonna be putting on the uh, black plastic uh, frame here, which is just gonna go on the bottom, but underneath all those sections there. So that the rubber tabs are on top. And then we're gonna be holding all of that together with the base, which fits on the top. So now I can keep that there and it's gonna all be held in with CP screws. And I do believe it's uh, five CP screws. So that's the first one in. We've got one just at the top here. There we go. One just on the opposite side to the first one we put in. nice and tight and then we've just got two along the sides here one there and finally one here so they're all in looking like that we could turn this over 
because we're going to hold the top section down here with FP screws. One over this side. And here's the third one just there. So that's the next base done. And that's all there is to do in that stage. Which means the final stage of this pack is an exact mirror of how we started. So once again, we're going to be putting the sponge just inside there. Then we're going to be putting this backing plate on to provide reinforcements, making sure that these tabs are on top of the plastic. One, two. So that looks like that. Then we're going to put together the headrest. So pinch them together. We've got a lug going into a hole. Nice and tight. Put it through the top there in the slot that you can see at the top so that it comes out the other side there. And we're going to be holding that in with CP screws. We should be a dab hand at this now because we've just we've just built one. <laughs> That's one. And there's number two. That's going to keep the head rest in position, no problems at all. We've got the back here to put on. That just goes over the top inside this section here just like that and once again that's going to be held in with cp screws and that's six of those they do go in kind of like at an angle kind of like that so i just put a couple in not too tight just enough to have it bite into position like that and then i'll tighten them all up And then once again, when you're happy with that, it's all in position and the seat's looking like that. All we're going to do, lay that down like that. And again, we've got these little dots here, which is an ingenious way to fix this, which is just going to go over the top where we've got the screw holes. So you're never going to see them again. You might find it helpful to actually use tweezers just to help putting these on. It just does make it a little bit more precise. There we go, that's that back section on. And that is all there is to do in that stage. So basically this is eventually gonna fit on there exactly the same as the last one did. So I can put this in the vehicle where it goes to give you an idea of what it's gonna look like. But that is all there is to do in that pack. You know what, I can't leave it there without putting this central uh, column in as well. So I am just gonna put that in just to give you an idea of what that looks like. And that just goes in over the top there and that gives you an idea Oops, stand up <laughs> I've got no mounts on this yet so you get the idea that looks pretty cool doesn't it <laughs> yeah I love the detail <laughs> if you want to get this for yourself put the link down here to the IXO collection website you can get that all the way from pack one now tonight I'm going to be doing a live stream being Thursday it's just a normal general live stream it's going to be at eight o'clock British standard time or British summer time I think BST stands for and then tomorrow special video I went to Jaguar last week uh, with Agora models and uh, we got to see the prototype of the 18 Jaguar we also got to have a tour of the classic facility which you're absolutely going to love for that that video comes out tomorrow Friday but listen I really do hope you like that video if you did please remember to give me a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed already please remember to subscribe other than that take care